Hello there. Thanks for joining me. Um, I wanted to share something I felt like God was showing me not too long ago. I was in that in my prayer closet just hanging out and um, just acknowledging God's goodness and His presence and stuff. And, uh, you know, just in that place of, of surrender, just uh, praying that the Holy Spirit would, you know, guide me into what God was doing and what He was saying. And I know the Word says that the, the Holy Spirit isn't speaking on his own authority. And I think it's so powerful to think that, you know, the Holy Spirit, part of the, the Trinity, he doesn't speak on his own authority. Like when Jesus was walking the earth, it says that, you know, he only said what the Father was saying. He only did what the Father was doing. And it's so humbling knowing Jesus, the Holy Spirit, you know, part of the, the Trinity, they submit to one another like that. And I believe that, you know, that place is available to us as we submit our agenda and our thoughts and our will and our our trials and our sufferings and, you know, our circumstances. And we quiet ourselves like in the presence of God and just allow him to reveal, you know, his heart to us and what he's doing and what he's saying. And it's a, uh, I'm just so thankful that that's available to us, that that secret place with God. And Hebrews, where it talks about entering in, entering into the Holy of Holies, you know, through the Jesus became the door. His blood became the door for us. And uh, anyways, I was just in that place of just seeking God. And I got this picture of the Father and I saw him like a potter and I saw this clay that was before him and he said do you know what my hands are that form you into who I created you to be and I knew he was talking about you know humanity and I said no and he said it's your circumstances he said your circumstances are my hands that form you into who I created you to be, and I created you to be, you know, Christ-like, like Jesus. And that was such a profound picture, and once again, God was just encouraging me and encouraging us, I believe, to embrace our circumstances through faith. And I think uh, a lot of the time, the enemy can exalt himself, and he can use our circumstances to justify the oppression. I know I've talked about it before. And it was just uh, super encouraging to be reminded that we can embrace our circumstances, that God is God, and that he uses our circumstance to, you know, refine us. And as soon as God showed me that, I was reminded of the scripture that talks about our faith is refined like gold, you know, through our trials, through our tribulations. Actually, I have it right here. So it's uh, it's First Peter one six and seven. This is the New Living Translation. It says, "So be truly glad there is a wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is to be tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is more precious than mere gold, so when your faith remains strong." Through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Isn't that cool? So God's allowing circumstances. He's allowing situations in our lives because he's refining what's more precious than gold to him, which is our faith. And I think knowing that gives us the ability to trust in him that our faith might be developed and it might be strengthened and we might be you know uh free to live for his glory as opposed to responding to um the fear that maybe the focus on our circumstances promote and um in isaiah 45 9 through 12 the new living translation says what sorrow awaits those who argue with their creator does a clay pot argue with its maker does the clay dispute with the one who shapes it? 
saying, stop, you're doing it wrong. Does the pot exclaim, how clumsy can you be? How terrible it would be if a newborn baby said to its father, why was I born? Or if it said to its mother, why did you make me this way? This is what the Lord says, the Holy One of Israel and your Creator. Do you question what I do for my children? Do you give me orders about the work of my hands? I am the one who made the earth and created people to live on it. With my hands, I stretched out the heavens. All the stars are at my command. And it's so cool that scripture puts things in total perspective for me, that God is so big. You know, he knows what's going on. He's at work. He's worthy to be trusted. He's worthy to be glorified. And as we enter in to that door I was talking about, into the Holy of Holies, we get cleaned off of the fear and the doubt. And it gives us the ability to embrace our situations, knowing that God's having his way with us and he's equipping us for eternity. Actually, let me share one more scripture. So a lot of us, you know, we've heard uh, in Romans 8 where it talks about us being separated from the, the love of Christ. And I think a lot of the times, you know, we're encouraged by that scripture saying, you know, nothing can separate us. We're more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, which is totally true. But what's also encouraging to me about that scripture is that the part before it, um, this is the Amplified, Romans eight thirty-five through 37. It says, Who shall separate us from Christ's love? Shall suffering and affliction and tribulation or calamity and distress or persecution or hunger or destitution or peril or sword? Even as it is written, For thy sake we are put to death all day long. We are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet amid all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him who loved us. And that scripture is so encouraging because it's not saying that we're more than conquerors and we're not going to go through hard times. It's saying exactly the opposite. It's saying when the hard times come, when the trials, when the tribulations, when the suffering, when the hardships come, we know nothing can separate us from the love of Christ, that we we don't need to be offended, as the word says, because of Jesus. We don't need to be offended because of our circumstances. We can embrace our circumstances knowing no peril, nothing, death can't separate us from his love for us. God's at work. He's doing what he's doing, and we get to trust that the end result is going to be glorious. So I hope that blessed you guys. I'll talk to you soon.